everyone, welcome back to the Steel Donut. My name is Matt, and with me today I have Blake. Hey, everybody. And Connor. Hello there. And Yella. Good day. And I got a big problem, guys. Like, I know this happens a lot, but I really want to be a ninja. I know mm. it's like the Halloween season was last, you know, two seasons ago, but I really want to be a ninja. <laughs> how do I do that? Do you guys know how I should do that at all? Well, you know, I actually have a wiki how that might be able to help you out here, because I'm not a ninja personally. I've read a mm -hmm. lot about ninjas. I'm interested in ninjas. I respect them, but I'm not a ninja myself. So mm -hmm. this article will definitely help us. It'll help you and might help me a little bit too in growing as a ninja-friendly person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How to Be a Ninja, co-authored by WikiHow staff, last updated 2020 as of this video, with 1.5 million views and nearly oh, four Jesus stars. Christ. This is a beloved article. This is a classic. Mm -hmm. This article has to and be And it good. sucks. Oh, never mind. I'm jumping the gun. We'll find out if it sucks. After and this was also a viewer request by Tiny Stark. Tiny, Tiny Stark, Stark knew of my problem yeah. wanting to be a ninja, yeah. and he was like, Matt, I gotcha. I'll help you out with that. Here's an article. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Tiny Stark, is that anything like Tiny Elvis? <laughs> no, yeah. Tiny Stark was in one of the fanfics we read. There was Tiny Stark. Yeah. All of oh, I know. I no, know. Tiny Elvis is just a uh, a forgotten a forgotten thing. <laughs> yeah. Ninjas have a super cool reputation, and it's wow. no surprise that so many people want to be one. <laughs> Stealth, physical agility, and strength, both physical and mental, are important components for you to master to become a ninja. Damn. Learn but, martial arts, how to walk without a sound, and how to be aware of your surroundings so you can always be ready for whatever mission may come your way. I feel like that the last mission. one is just something you should have in general. <laughs> uh, spatial awareness, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you don't have it, this will help you develop it. Okay, good. As oh, well sure. as other things like, you know, object permanence, those kind of things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How to, like how to not be an infant. <laughs> I like that there is physical agility in both physical and mental strength. Mm -hmm. But where is my mental agility? That comes mm. later. That's post ninja. Oh, that's okay. That's when you become become super ninja. I yeah, guess. that's like post samurai. Ninja. Post ninja more. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Die carefully, please. Step one: Join a martial arts class to become a master of hand to hand fighting, oh, this and is train with point. terracotta soldiers of yourself. Apparently. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, have a very big chin while you're at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Alpha. Humongous chin and have a oh, tiny, uh -huh. tiny face. Itsy Absolutely. bitsy little face on a gigantic chin. Looks like fucking mega chin up there. <laughs> it looks like the guy from uh, Dick Tracy. Yeah. Uh, nin it says ninjutsu is the traditional class of martial arts that ninjas studied. There's a lot of very complicated reasons why that's not true, but oh well. <laughs> but it can be hard to find these types of classes at many martial arts schools. That's because they're run by Desk. scam artists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it isn't an option for you, look into taking taekwondo, karate, jiu-jitsu, or judo classes. Didn't you... Honestly, oh. just any martial art, apparently. Yeah, just anything. <laughs> these classes train your body so that you can combat an opponent without any weapons. While ninjas do sometimes wow. use weapons, it isn't safe or recommended to carry weapons around with you. You know, that's, yes, that's is. some sound. I'm a well, ninja that follows the law. <laughs> um, well, well, as someone who, uh, you know, has a concealed carry permit, I can tell you that it's perfectly safe and perfectly recommended to carry something to defend yourself with. You're much better off defending yourself with a weapon than you are trying to punch a mugger. I was just gonna say, I think they meant you shouldn't walk around with fucking ninja swords on your back. Yeah, which, now that you is know what? I I agree with that. Is you there a concealed that, carry yeah. permit for like shurikens? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, yeah, a lot of uh, throwing stars are illegal to carry, and so are swords in a lot of areas. Right. So don't yeah. carry ninja weapons. Carry yeah, useful weapons. <laughs> I mean, that, got those can also ninja. be illegal, then, depending on where you are. Yeah. Well, exactly. Maybe, maybe on just follow the law in general mm -hmm. in that yeah. regard. Um. <laughs> they do. I like how ninjas sometimes use weapons. Weren't they assassins? Sometimes. Uh, okay, yeah, mostly. Weren't they just supposed to be assassins? assassins uh, and always sometimes they use weapons. Well. They what just, did they do other times? They just ran around breaking necks all the time. <laughs> yeah, they, just, they just broke skulls. <laughs> yeah. With their bare hands. Like fucking Agent 47 and just like poisoned somebody's coffee, I guess. So, step two. Oh, that guy's doing some parkour. Uh, I don't know where he's leaping from. Yeah, it looks like I don't know he if he's leaping off a building or nothing, or if he's off of nothing. He just he leapt onto, onto that building from the did ground. He, did he jump like nice. Spider-Man? He also looks so. incredibly bored while doing it. Well, yeah, um, also keep his face locked into your mind, okay? It'll, it'll be important in just a second. <laughs> okay. Step two. Become comfortable with your surroundings by practicing parkour. 
If you're a ninja, chances are you'll be out and about whenever you need to use your skills. <laughs> instead of <laughs> on the couch. I'm a couch ninja. Yeah. I mean, uh, on I'm the a, couch, a then you'll ninja, need dude. your skills. Yeah. Parkour will enable you to get from place to place quickly by climbing and jumping. <laughs> you'll feel ready to face whatever comes your way if you know you can always scale a wall or jump over a stationary car if you need to. What? And that okay. links to a YouTube I... video. I'm not going to watch that. Yeah. Uh, watch tutorials or join a class to learn the basics. Then take your practice to the streets and teach yourself how to use the world as your gym. Okay. Uh, put down weird. some padded mattresses while you do so, I guess, because oh, yeah. I feel like I'm sending I you love, out too early. I love how all these wiki <laughs> articles are always like, well, in order to do this, you just have to do this other complicated <laughs> thing that would require yeah. lots and lots just and lots of practice. Just learn parkour, idiot. You just learn a ninja, martial just, art, learn just parkour. Learn just learn karate. You want to be a ninja? Just learn parkour. It's that simple. Yeah. I mean, it's just that simple. Yeah. <laughs> just do it. Just do Only it. Only $19.99. It, it, it's, like, it's like every movie we watch where they're like, let's climb that mountain to scout around. And it's like as tall as Mount Everest. And the next shot, they're just on top of the mountain. Yeah. Remember yeah. that from um, uh, Westward Ho? Yeah. Climb a mountain, then they did it. And then, well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that that's was, my they favorite. They actually like, did it. My like my B, my favorite B tier running joke is whenever we watch a movie and someone just does something that should be impossible effortlessly, one of us goes, "Well, that was easy." <laughs> yeah. Uh, warning. We should climb that mountain, no. and then they did. Warning: Parkour is physically demanding, so if you're not in shape, work on strengthening your entire body before moving on to demanding parkour oh, moves. Oh my okay, god! Could we not have gotten shape. this warning for the for the martial <laughs> that arts? Been the yeah, I was gonna step. say, but learning martial arts is not physically demanding. You don't have to fucking work on getting yeah. in shape to do that. The easy as pie. That should have been the first step. Like, are you out of shape? Well, get in shape. You ever seen a fat ninja? My boy Chris Farley and Beverly uh, Beverly Hills Ninja, classic uh -huh. movie. <laughs> also, yeah. remember that face? Remember that great face? Now take a careful look at this picture <laughs> and tell me if you've I'm... seen that face before. Hmm. The face I... looks vaguely familiar. I don't... Hmm. Can't put my finger on where I've seen that before. So this step, learn how to shit while standing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Very you'll important. have to... If you're trying to be a Japanese ninja, you'll have to use Japanese toilets. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. The squat toilets. So yeah, step three... Perfect your balancing skills so that you can move quickly and nimbly. As ah. a ninja, you need to be able to creep around corners, move quickly from place to place, and hide in small spaces. Having great balance will help you do all these things with ease. Uh, try to I'm, do I'm try out some of these balance improving exercises. Wouldn't I need great balance to do parkour anyway? You'd think so, but apparently that is a separate thing to do That's... afterwards. Yeah, okay, I learn how to do parkour, and then I need to learn how to balance? Yes. Learn how to ride yeah. your bike, and then learn how to fucking walk. <laughs> Hide in small spaces? Yeah, that's what ninjas do. They're, they're in but like cupboards. Balance. Okay. Well, remember that one on it. Well, remember this is a historical story. That ninja who hid inside of a toilet to kill the emperor when he sat down. Ah, mm. I see. Mm. I mean, that's why they call it a wet job. God, God, <laughs> so gross. So some of these exercises. Let's, let's look at these exercises. Mm -hmm. Do thirty to forty-five squats every day to strengthen your calves and and thighs. Yeah, let me just do that. Mm -hmm. All this running is good for your buns and thighs. Y'all, buns and thighs. <laughs> Great SpongeBob moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exercise your core so that your center of gravity is as strong as possible. <laughs> What yeah. does it mean to strengthen your center of gravity? Center of gravity? Like a, that's just a, it's not like an organ, you know? No, yeah, it's like, just, it, it's, it's literally where, mo where, where you Yeah, I've got a strong not, center not, of gravity. No, 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 you don't understand. The reason that people can live in Australia is that they carry around their own center of gravity with them. If you uh, have a weak core, you're just going to fall off the earth, okay? Uh, if, you, if you're living in Australia and you got a weak core, you're falling off the earth. Your center of gravity is weak. Your I mean, gravity, your gravity holding you to Earth. That shit's gonna be weak. Clearly, Australians. Right clearly, Australians make the best ninjas. Yeah, Australians are fantastic ninjas. They have very strong center of gravities. So they have very strong cores. You know, otherwise they have to wear ground Matt, harnesses around. You know, Matt, here at the Steel Donut, you know, I, I'm just gonna have to put out this disclaimer. We we at the Steel Donut do not endorse what Matt says. We are flat earthers. You know, we believe in the truth. <laughs> so, um, 
you know, you can keep your roundy <laughs> shit out of my video. Thank Sorry. you. I am a globe tard. I admit it. Uh, <laughs> here's I like the, uh, roundy. I really like roundy as a term. Yeah. You know, something that WikiHow won't tell you, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. Not only should you develop your center of gravity, but you should also develop your moment of inertia to be as strong as possible. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now there's power to be had. So more more exercises. Practice standing on one leg at a time until you can do it without wobbling for 60 seconds. Oh, I'm good at this then. Just 60 seconds, I can do that for Yeah, minutes. I was going to say I can do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Join a Pilates or yoga class to improve your balance and strengthen your entire body. So that's three different things I have to join now. First, I have to join karate, then I have to join the fucking. <laughs> you have to uh, learn class. parkour. Learn parkour, now, you have, now join... I have to join yoga classes too. Damn. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of work to become a ninja, like, <laughs> on ironically. So I can be a ninja? Like, a I ninja's if... not a real yeah, thing! It's a... It's Wiki a full time. Out? It's a full time job. A full time effort, and I don't just mean forty hours. I mean twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. How many hours that is? That's how much time you got to spend. Uh, Wiki how Wiki how ninjas aren't real. You understand that people are not ninjas. I think it's one hundred sixty eight, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Wiki oh, how? What the fuck is this? Yes, it is. I thought this was gonna be like a fun, like how to cosplay Naruto shit, like. No, no. See, that's why that's why all the people who are obsessed with becoming ninjas are basement dwellers. They can't afford to work. It's too much time to be a ninja. It's right. true. Yeah, you have to put in a fucking 40-hour work week for this shit. So here we have step four. Oh my god, this is real, huh? This is fucking real. Yes, really... this is real. Look at <laughs> this. This fucking, is what we're gonna about talk about. the hitman toss a coin around the fucking <laughs> look corner at the flick and of make the, the guard look away. Look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> it's Number all four. in the wrist, man. Learn how to blend in with your surroundings and create distractions. Ninjas pride themselves on operating in plain sight without being noticed by others. But if you do get noticed and need to get away quickly, what am I doing? <laughs> what Matt, the fuck am I Matt, doing? You're you're a ninja. You're killing people. <laughs> yeah. You're an assassin <laughs> slash saboteur. <laughs> trying to prepare me for what am i out here doing for Killing assassinations people. and sabotage <laughs> but yeah i'm sorry but if you do get noticed and you need to get away quickly you also need to know how to distract those around you oh and how would i do that man how would you do that <laughs> well i'm glad you asked Hang on, I, I need to stop laughing and take this seriously. I'm going to become a ninja, you know? That's why I'm reading this I believe article. in you, Matt. Uh, I'll tell your boss <laughs> that you <Yeah>. quit. <laughs> <laughs> to blend in better, work on maintaining a neutral composure. Be neither too loud nor or too... Sorry, I thought there was going to be a nor there. And don't brag about your ninja skills when you're in front of others. Yeah, that should be pretty fucking easy to do, to be honest. Just keep it on the down low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To create a distraction, you could do something like covertly throw me across the room. So, so it's the one that makes a noise. No, that only works in video games, not in real life. <laughs> Toss in real life, everyone looks in at real you life, goes, people will... why the fuck did you throw that pin? I mean, in real life, people would at most look in that direction for a second and then see a pen and be like, where did that pen come yeah, from? They're... And start looking around in different directions. They're not going to like hear the pen even if they do hear the pen i'm surprised they did uh they're not going to look at it walk over walk to over, it yeah. stand there go back to neutral cycle then like bend down look at it stand there look around a bit go back to neutral cycle and then walk off on their own path what was like, that noise Matt, must have been throw, the wind you throw the pen and then you watch until everyone's vision cones aren't looking your way right yeah mm -hmm. i have to look at the mini map <clears throat> <laughs> Why at that point couldn't I just go, hey, look over there and then run away? Yeah. I What's feel like that? it would work and just as just well. Go. Yeah. No, well you covertly throw the pen, so they don't know who threw it. Oh man. When everyone looks to see what caused the commotion, you can make your get away. The commotion like, of a, a fucking idiot hitting while a you wall. do it. Oh man, and on this next one, uh learn how to do the thriller dance. Yeah. Oh, that's Pink Panther right there. Learn how to do the duck that walk. <laughs> You can make me do the duck walk. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh my god. I love that so much. It's like That's of so all good. the things. You know that voice actor? He knew. At that point, you could tell he knew how stupid this was. Because he said that as chipper and, and as, as ingratingly as possible. It's great.
So step five, practice walking stealthily so others can hear you approaching. Start by putting your pinky toe on the floor and then roll the rest of your toes until they're all touching the ground. What? Uh, I'm what? trying that now. Yeah, so it's essentially like, drum, like drumming your fingers, but you drum your toes. Why? Why was uh, that stealthy? Why? Yeah. Don't you just need to... <sighs> if you need to, roll your steps so that your heel rests on the ground. But if you're in motion, you can mainly walk on the tips of your toes. Oh, so I'm supposed to walk um, like on the... Um, well, you're not actually walking on the tips of your my toes. I'm, I'm walking on the balls of my feet. Yes. Uh, I'm not ballet. <laughs> I'm not doing ballet. You have to put on your ballet slippers. Well, you also something. have to learn ballet is the thing. That's another oh class God. for you to yeah. join in. Assuming, like, in the picture, it means walking on the balls of your feet, because they're not the same thing, idiot. Um, So I'm supposed to not only walk on the balls of my feet, but I have to drum my toes as I do. I feel like I'm not going to be able to pay attention to my surroundings, because I'm going to have to focus on doing this insanely difficult walk. <laughs> Yeah, that's more... I've... What? (laughs) It's helpful to crouch slightly as you walk so that your center of gravity is more compact. This makes it a lot less likely that you'll lose your balance. You may even want to practice walking on all fours in case you end up somewhere where you can't walk upright. I mean, hopefully you don't lose your balance when you're just walking. A ninja is never surprised for butt sex. Yeah. Walks on all fours. If you lose your balance while just walking... I don't think you're cut out to be a ninja. Ninjas are bottoms. It is confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So that was uh, everything for training to become a ninja. Yeah. Now you need to sharpen your senses. Okay. Oh, and, uh, okay. I guess now that I've trained to become a ninja, I have to sharpen my senses now. Mm-hmm. To be a ninja. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Step one, meditate to gain control over your internal self and improve your focus. A clear mind is an essential part of your success as a ninja. It's a fucking job now. (laughs) It can help you be present in every situation so that you're always ready for whatever comes your way. Try out a few of these meditation practices to find one that works for you. Oh my god, like, I really have to go, like, to my fucking ninja boss and, like, <laughs> have my a fucking ninja, ninja interview. I mean, ninjas were usually and he's gonna be hired like, to do have, shit. Have you sharpened your ninja senses? Did you meditate to gain control over your internal self? I gotta say. Can you say, stab this man? I gotta say. I, I've never really been someone that's given, you know, meditation its credit or whatever. I guess I don't really get it. So, like, with these sentences, they just start having all these words, just these buzzwords, well, yeah. buzzwords, clear mind, you know, internal self, improve your focus. Try mindful breathing. Set a timer for three to five minutes and focus on your breathing. Inhale through your nose for five counts and exhale through your mouth for four. Repeat until the timer goes off. Yeah, for one through one, two, three, four, five. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> ah, ah, yeah. ah. Download a meditation app and follow the daily prompts to make meditation a part of your daily practice. <laughs> so you need an app and then to we're going to get dedicated. some some uh, advertisements, I guess, right uh-huh. here. Uh, mm. Calm, Headspace, Insight Timer, and 10% Happier are great options to look into. Those all sound like perks you'd pick in a Fallout game. Yeah, they yes. are. <laughs> well, to be fair, I have used Calm for a few years. It is a nice app. To be oh, fair, I good. did ch- uh, choose 10% Happier as my Fallout 4 uh, perk, and what that does is that always boosts your, your mood. Yeah. Well, Wait, well, hang on. That game didn't have a fucking mood in it. What am I talking about? Yeah, what <laughs> happens is the song Happier plays at 10% volume in the background the whole game. You can oh. just barely hear it, ah. and it slowly drives you insane. Inside oh. Timer's great because it gives you more uh, AP, gives you more action points, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whenever you go into slow-mo, you can do it longer. Join a mindful yoga and meditation class for a guided in-person experience. Join another of course, yoga join class. Join another thing. Join <laughs> Where a am yoga I getting class the money? Twice. I'm joining like 30 classes. <laughs> well, now. it's a job that pays very well. You got to invest into being a ninja. Okay? I mean, you will be essentially just a hitman. Hey, bro, can you spot me some cash? I got to take more classes from my ninja training. <laughs> <laughs> That's your friend, Let's go. <sighs> <sighs> uh, step two of method two. Practice being aware of your surroundings at all times. Instead of looking down at your phone, look around you. Observe the people around you. What types of obstacles might be in your way if you need to move quickly? And tune into your senses. Okay, you already learned how to blend in. What? No, yeah, I... but now you need to actually look around while you blend <laughs> uh, in. If, yeah. if, you were to, if you were to walk or sit and just keep constantly looking around at everyone, I feel like that makes you a lot less normal than being on your phone, you know? 
Yeah, like, but everyone's on their phone. You got to become an NPC to blend in. You yeah, know? you got to adapt mm-hmm. to the modern times. You gotta you, have a have a dummy phone with a dummy site set up, like a dummy Reddit, and you just scroll every so Reddit. often. But you're actually <laughs> looking around eagle-eyed at your victims. Yeah. I'm going I can't to hop kill people. Broke her face on my mic. Yeah. Oh man, that's not good. I hope no one takes that quote out of uh, I'm context. I'm going to do my ninja hitman thing, and then I'm going to escape up that wall. I'm gonna do my ninja hitman thing in Minecraft. <laughs> Being aware will also help you remember things better, which can come in handy if you are somewhere you aren't familiar with. Paying attention to what you see, smell, feel, touch, and hear can keep you in tune with your gut, which can alert you to potential problems. Yeah, and if you want to have a good gut, make sure that you uh, eat that yogurt that Jamie Lee Curtis sells. Oh, never mind. They got in trouble because it doesn't actually do that. (laughs) Dang. Yeah, and I'm assuming that my dietary routine is going to be part of this article. I mean, I would imagine so. Also, can we all, can we please also pay attention to what we taste? Because I love that sense. That's a good sense <laughs> yeah. to have. Yeah. Oh, you know, speaking of yogurt, I don't know if I've told the story in a video. Uh, it might have been on a stream. But I just wanted to be out there in the world, so I'm going to tell it real quick. Back, I used to uh, perform in theater. And there was a, one time, you know, I was you know in a production. And there was a guy who worked behind the scenes. And, uh, you know, he was a teenager. I was a teenager. We were both in high school. And he, I, I went back there to the, like, you know, behind the stage, and he was eating a tub of yogurt. Like, you know those those big, like, one, one like, pint, one quart, quart, yeah, tub of yogurts? Yeah. It was unflavored Greek yogurt, which is, like, the sourest thing. You you, you oh. never eat it plain. You mix in, like, a smoothie or something. He was just eating it out of the tub with a spoon. And he's like, yeah, I usually go through a couple uh, tubs a day. I thought what? he was bullshitting. Like, what? people bullshit like that in high school. And then his mom came in, and she had... Bags from Kroger. She had like 12 of those tubs of yogurt and bags from Kroger. And she says, I got you a few more. This should finish you out for the week. And I'm like, what the oh fuck is going God. on? Fuck? <laughs> this kid eats several tubs of Greek yogurt a day? Unflavored Greek yogurt. It's unflavored. And I'm like... <laughs> this kid discovered Soylent like before anyone else. He like invented a new diet that no one else was brave enough to try. Yeah. Yeah, you got to go back to mad the base. Lad. And to this day, I wonder if he ever like died of a, of a nutrient deficiency or something. I can't imagine eating nothing but Greek yogurt day in, day out could be good for you. Wow. Yeah. But every day I just think back and I'm like, I, I've heard so many weird diets. I've never heard somebody as their regular food. Even people who just eat like a couple things eat such an odd thing. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever that kid is, if you're watching this, uh, you're a man now, like me. Uh, good on you if you manage to stay alive with that diet. <laughs> he probably goes through like twice as good much. Good job. Yeah. Well yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, improve. Yeah, yeah. So number three, read the behavior of people around you to assess potential threats. Even if someone isn't posing a threat, they could still be untrustworthy. Uh, yeah. Ah, are you, paranoia. Are you doing this in public? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you have to become J. Edgar Beanpole. You must. It looks like you're just beat. in an office and you're like, uh, yeah. Yeah, so you have to be the awkward guy at the office who's like, you know, you look off to the side and you twiddle your fingers and you're like, um, uh, would you mind helping me out with this, uh, this, this spreadsheet? Oh. Part like, of being oh, okay. a ninja is being able to tell who is and who isn't a worthy companion. What? What? Uh-huh. Am I picking up people for a fucking quest now? You need to assemble your party, man. Yeah, they're going to join your party. <laughs> you got to find yourself a paladin, a wizard, that, and a monk. I see that you created a party, but that's because no one would invite you. <laughs> no one you. would invite you. <laughs> Pay attention to what people say, if they are acting nervous or twitchy, and how they change in front of different people. What am I doing? <laughs> Assessing people, kill reading their someone. behavior. Assess. <laughs> that's all ninjas do. Back in the day, like the actual ninjas were just people... Who were hit, they were just assassins, hitmen. They killed people. Spies, okay. assassins, why am saboteurs. I getting companions? I mean, so everybody weird. needs a companion sometimes. If everybody can use, <laughs> oh a my companion. god, I'm doing a fucking mission now. If your escape goes bad, you need to know who you could trust to be like, hey, I just killed someone. You gotta get away. <laughs> You're gonna be complicit in this as well. Will you help me? And, you know, who will just go, yeah, that sounds great. Let's do it. 
All right, well, and I'm who will go? Now, oh, apparently. the killer's over who here! Will go, I'm calling the police, and you go. You don't need to. They're already on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. If you're doing a reconnaissance mission and don't want the person to know you're watching them, do your best to blend in with your surroundings. Pretending to look at your phone or read a book can help you keep tabs on them without risking them catching you staring. Yeah, just cut two big eye holes in your book. In your newspaper. (laughs) And just hold that in front of your face. As ninjas were known to do. Yeah. Signs that someone is lying that I need to know now for some reason? I thought I was watching people. (sighs) Like Why an are people lying when he has the pie me? with the camera in it, bro. Who Remember am that? I talking to? Huh? Okay, oh. it says signs that someone's lying. I thought I was watching them. Why am I talking to people now? Well, no. I mean, you're not you're talking not to them. You're, you can watch to see if they're lying to someone else. Oh, okay. This article is literally like if you've never heard of a ninja before. Like, yeah, Matt, come on. Everyone has heard of a ninja at some point. Or yeah, they have real ultimate power. Yeah. yeah, or spy. Everyone's heard of spies at some point. Everyone's seen spies, a, you know, assassins. something about them, something close to this. Wait. Why are we starting from zero? This is like how to be a spy with a lot of extra fucking steps in the middle. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to add that iCarly clip to the uh, end jokes playlist if I can avoiding find it. Avoiding signs that someone is lying or avoiding eye contact, nervous fidgeting, decreased blinking or pursed lips, including an extreme number of details in a story and forgetting those details later on. Avoiding using words like I, me, and mine. I guess I'm always lying, or very often, because I never really make eye contact, because I don't like making eye contact. I tend to fidget a bit. As those I don't know about the rest, on. but I Hang guess on, I'm just always lying. Has anyone ever seen Yellow Blink? I don't <laughs> think I've ever seen Yellow Blink. Whoa. Have you? The thing I don't like about eye contact is when the eyes mush together. It's really yeah, gross. Yeah, it's a little weird. <laughs> 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 Hang on a second. Hang on a sec. Yella avoids eye contact, nervous fiction, has never blinked in his entire life. <laughs> I don't on. think I've ever even seen him move. Yeah, hang on. His lips are has and his lips are so pursed he has the to whole time? Yeah, his lips are so pursed he has to speak through his nose. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That it's explains amazing. my nose accent. Does that. <laughs> I've never seen anyone speak through their nose like that before. It's crazy. And he never says the word I. He always refers to himself in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yella does do that. <laughs> <laughs> this next step is a radical difference change. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> become a master of Shigendo, the Japanese oh. practice of discipline. Okay, oh, I guess okay. I need to. Now well, I need to be disciplined. I'll pencil that wouldn't in. I'll I get need... to it sometime this week. Wouldn't I need discipline to do any of these other things that require lots of extraneous no. activity and rigid schedules? No. I mean, it's probably not a bad idea, right? I mean, I'm just general, saying. I, mean, I guess look into it. But I mean, like, look, become a master of Shingen, You know, discipline your life. You know, optimize your path. You know, you don't waste any time. Like this story. I mean, fuck, like this wiki. Has. Yeah, we've all failed that. Yeah, wiki has yeah. been wasting a lot of fucking time by giving me shit in the wrong order. <laughs> I spent like an hour the other day watching a, a gif of somebody with a pen in their butt writing their name. Oh. I mean, They're that's very talented. skill. Yeah, that's skill. Yeah? Um, And I was like, imagine how much Shigendo they use to attain that level of skill. And I'm wa- not using Shigendo. I'm wasting my time just watching them. Yeah. Yeah. They, they are very disciplined. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're very disciplined. Shigendo emphasizes physical and mental endurance as a path to enlightenment. Read as much as you can about the practice and check to see if there's a group in your area that you can join. If not, many of the tenets of... uh, <clears throat> What? The tenets of Buddhism? Does she mean the tenets? Yeah, the tenets, you know. Yeah, the tenets. The, 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 the people live who hire... There, okay? Yeah, who live there. The people who live in Buddhism. Yeah, if not yeah. many of the tenets... Mm-hmm. How many people co opted this? Probably a thousand. Fuck it. Of Buddhism are similar to those of Shigendo. Either would be a good spiritual practice to align yourself with as a ninja. Mm-hmm. There are, uh, I'm part of Ninjas for Christ. Yeah. Excuse, me. <laughs> Excuse me very much. <laughs> there are some great articles and websites you can use to learn more about Shigendo. Also, check out your local library to see if they have any books about the subject. I'm assuming I'm probably missing pronouncing Shigendo, but that's okay. You told me to read as much as possible about it. I I guess I already thought I'd go to the library or whatever. Nah, man. Or look hey, on check the internet. Right. Yeah, check Shigendo by, Hito- by Hitoshi Miyake. Shigendo, The Way of the Mountain Monks by Martin Folks. 
and The Mandala of the Mountain, Shigendo and Folk Religion, also by Hitoshi Miyake, are books that would give you a lot of information about the history and practice of Shigendo. I would never Shigendo have Shigendo. guessed. Mm-hmm. I would never never have guessed based on those book titles. <laughs> they would well, tell me anything about Shigendo. The Complete Idiot's Guide to Sh- Shigendo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and even after all that, I'm still not sure that I really got what Shigendo is. No. Can we start our own series like that? Like, you have four dummies, you have the complete idiot's guide. Can we start, like, the Dingus's Companion? <laughs> the <Yeah>. Dingus's <laughs> Companion. I'd be down for that. For all Dingus's, this is your companion, you know? So, the, yeah. the Dingus's Companion to, you know, air frying. I don't know. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, that were all the uh, steps to sharpening your senses. So, so now you, uh, we have the physical so... part and the senses. Now uh-huh. you need to dress the part. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Step one. Face. Step one. You know you had to do it to him. Yeah, I was gonna say you gotta you gotta stand in it. You know I had to do it All to right. him, Bose. Step one. Wear regular clothes if you want to blend in with those around you. Oh my you. god! What you the fuck do else wear would I be wearing? Shirt. Yeah, this is the Varum shirt reference. Because you look like everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. A huge part of ninja life is being able to camouflage yourself with your surroundings. And if you're most often around other people, you want to blend in rather than stick out. While it can be super fun to wear all black and sneak around, save that (laughs) ensemble for nighttime or parties. What kind of parties do you remember? Halloween parties, obviously. (laughs) Uh, Maybe make your own parties, I don't know. Uh, Yeah, well, hang on, wait. We can make this link to how to have a ninja party. (laughs) Yeah. Or just start or go to a ninja sex party. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I remember that? Yeah. Part of the reason why ninjas were so good at what they did was that they could get close to their marks without being noticed. That's so why I am just going to kill someone Fucking now. Fucking okay. duh. <laughs> yeah. You, Matt, we've already told you what a ninja does. It's all they do. Yeah. I know. I'm just going to kill someone now. Yeah. Have you <laughs> ever seen a ninja, like, just going to repo someone's car? Yeah. No. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Ninjas are awesome because they flip out and kill people. <laughs> yeah, they flip out and kill people. Yeah. Dude, I love I love that so much. Like that's the best old internet thing. Like ninjas are cool because they flip out and kill people. That's that's such a great reason to be cool. <laughs> yeah. Um and if you want others to know you're a ninja though, feel free to wear clothes that mark you as one. Why if you want to be you? a complete What am I supposed idiot? to do? Am what? I supposed to Am I supposed to dress and fit in, or am I supposed to make myself stand out enough? What? Uh, what? Eh, yeah. Step two. Offer clothes that don't rustle or make noise so you can move quietly. Even if you're blending in, it's still important that you can move quickly and quietly when needed. Choose cotton, cotton blends, and broken-in denim. For shoes, pick ones that don't squeak or make noise when you walk. <laughs> Avoid wearing jangly dual jewelry. I mean, I feel like I would want those kind of shoes anyway. Yeah, Unless make I sure to the still fucking squeaky f- boots from SpongeBob. Yeah, so such so, so, yeah. <laughs> squeaky boots. Um, yeah, and also don't wear broken in denim. Where I would wear stretch denim at that point. That's nah, man, mean. you still gotta follow fashion trends. You gotta wear that broken in Can't denim. I just wear Only sweatpants? nerds and losers wear new denim. I just want, I just want to wear sweatpants around. Wouldn't that be comfy? The new denim, man. Uh, oh, man, that's a new band. It's our new band. The new denim? The new denim. Jeez, that's so good. <laughs> man, I, if I go on, like, www.bands.com and I see that somebody's registered these fucking bands that I've been coming up with, I'm going to be so oh, goddamn you guys mad. you are in trouble. You all are in trouble if you steal you, our you bands. You motherfuckers listening out there better not steal my super good band names, okay? Yeah, yeah just like when... uh. Uh, they they bought the domain on Metalocalypse for uh, Planet Piss, so Murderface couldn't get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Avoid clothes made of synthetic materials like polyester, acrylic, and rayon. Okay. okay. Why? Okay. Why? Avoid them because know. they are too okay. loud. They make hey, a lot Bob, of noise. Who's the ninja expert here? Okay. <laughs> Clearly, right. this article. Clearly, this article knows of the loudness of synthetic materials. Right. Yeah. I mean, have you heard how loud polyester is? That shit Dude, screams with every step. My ears hurt still. I I never wear polyester. I'm so tired of it screaming every time yeah. I put it on. It just yells at me, and I don't know what I did to it. See, uh, see, polyester screams. Acrylic is just angry all the time. It's always yelling at you. <sighs> oh, always fucking biting into your skin, just yelling at you really aggressively. And Rayon just cries. All right. <laughs> 
curse <laughs> clothing. Yeah, it's Curse awful. Food, yeah. It's like always crying all the time. It's always sobbing like, shut up, Rayon. I don't need to hear your fucking shit. Your clothing material. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy's ankle? <laughs> oh. It's, uh, so I'm more concerned ankle. about the fact that uh, if you actually were to measure the length of his leg, uh, one <laughs> leg is like long, twice as long as the leg. other. Oh, that no. leg's got, he's got legs for days. Yeah, Look how got, far down he's seen in, uh, Have you ever seen the scene in Space Jam when Michael Jordan stretches his arm out to dunk the basket? Yeah. yeah. That man has legs for years. Also, yeah. Ugh. Ugh, what by me as a kid, by the way. Put on a traditional ninja outfit if you're doing missions at night. Yeah, that won't make me stick out and look like a yeah. fucking idiot. Am I trying to blend in or am I trying to wear this? Now you God see, it's damn. nighttime, so it's fine. This outfit is called the Shinobi Foku? Is that it? Sh- yeah. Shinobi Sorry. Foku, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Sorry. Pick pants and a top that are dark and loose fitting so you can move with ease. Over top of your shirt, wear a dark kimono shirt rope and secure it with a sash. Yeah, be sure to fucking do yeah, that, bro. Yeah, uh, hey, hang a set of blinds from your head so that way you can just completely cover yourself. Oh, man, that's good. I like that. It's my superhero attire, it sounds like. I'm yeah, ninja Bob man. Boulder ain't got nothing on this guy. Like the like in mystery man. Yeah. Yeah. The fucking strike. <laughs> Mr. Inve- <laughs> Invest in a pair of tabby split toe boots to complete your look. I feel like I'm gonna have to do a lot okay. of investing here. Yeah. They help you move more stealthily. Tip: Wear navy blue rather than black to blend in. <laughs> and- <laughs> Why? Why? Don't Why wear you- this. <laughs> Don't wear any of this. Wear navy blue rather than black to blend in with the night surroundings better. Black is way more visible than navy blue because it reflects more light. Not wrong, I guess. Not wrong. In fact, very true. Very and true. Here, uh, but uh, I'm still going to look like a fucking idiot. Uh, step four, um, updated for 2020. Wear a black mask to cover your face if you're doing a covert operation. Well, just uh, take off the doing a covert operation. Yeah. You know, it's it's good yeah. to be safe out there. Always yeah, wear a black <laughs> mask if you're doing a COVID operation. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, what a great topical joke I just made. Oh, oh man, man. Oh, I'm going to look back at this five years later and we're going to laugh and go, ha, ha, yes. I remember that historic event we had to live through. Ha, <laughs> yeah. 2020. Oh, man. Yeah, it says you could use something simple like a ski mask, or you could wear a turtleneck and a black beanie to cover the majority of your face. I'd look like your a best... dumbass. Hey, man, I love turtlenecks. It's true. <laughs> do your I'm best to cover up black as... beanie. Yeah, do your best to cover up as much as possible so only your eyes are visible. If you think you might need your mask or outfit at some point and won't have time to go home and change, bring everything with you in a backpack. That way you're always ready with your gear. What? Come on! You just lug a backpack around What always. the fuck am I doing, then? Now, now, because this article is so popular, there are tons of great questions and great answers and great tips. Oh, God. Oh, God. So we oh, can look God. At there's a lot. Oh, my. Man, Before we look goes. at questions, there's only a couple tips. Let's read the tips first. Oh, yeah, let's read the tips first. Read books about ninjutsu to become even more familiar with the history of ninjas. Manson Shukai... Shoninki and Shinobi Hiden are considered to be the three canonical ninja tomes. They're part of the ninja bible. Yeah. It's the true ninja trilogy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some people want to be a ninja for fun because they like the way it looks, and others want to be able to do everything a ninja does. Do however much tra- ninja training feels right to you. I want Ask to your doctor if ninja training <laughs> is right for you. I want to kill people. That's wait, a wait, Matt, Matt, wait, wait, wait. This next tip that you have to read is going to counter you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't beat people up for the fun of it. Here's the thing. I'm not doing it for the fun of it. I want to kill because it's my job. I mean, also, I'm not going to really? beat people up. I'm just gonna I'm going to murder them. kill them. Oh, guys, uh, this, this person here asked like a fourth dimensional question. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. H- how can I defend yourself? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> whoa! I How am a can ninja. I defend yourself. I became a ninja to defend you. Uh, not, so not what do I do? You to defend yourself. Whoa! Yeah. So I have to become them. <laughs> I mean, that is part of ninja stuff, right? Fourth dimensional question, man. It's oh just, it depends God. on what you're up against. If it is a sword, then your best option is to dodge. So you have what? a weapon. 
Use that to swipe away your enemy's defenses. You can also buy something that you think might be useful. Yeah, let me open Hang up on. the shop mid-combat. Yeah, let, let me, me find the vendor Hang on. in the level. Hang on. Why is someone trying to hit me with a sword? Wiki out, what do you think I am That's doing? What ninjas do. Yeah. 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 If you get into cool fights. Do. <laughs> they get into cool fights whenever they flip out and kill people. people with swords? Um, what, you know what, here's a better question, I'd like a wiki how, you know, this is how to be a ninja, can we wiki how, what a fucking ninja is supposed to do? I'm getting so many mixed messages here. Yeah? I don't know, maybe you're fighting a rival ninja, who's oh, trying shit. to take you on and take you out. Oh, shit. Well, the, <laughs> the next question is, how do I overcome my fear about going on a mission? Uh, Don't worry, you probably great. won't have to go on a mission, is the answer. What are Just you think doing? positively about the mission, think ahead about all of your moves, what possible consequences might happen, and be prepared <laughs> to avert get any negative by consequences all your friends like a with good planning. Moron. Have trust in your training, young Padawan. Yeah, Padawan, yes. Uh, I yeah, want to know yeah. what a mission is. Is that why don't they tell well, me what well, a mission Matt, is? Well, Matt, are we hey, going to go on a glorious a mission, mission? Matt, if you want to know what a mission is, look behind you. <laughs> what the fuck? Shh. Oh my god. He well, either damn. got killed or got inducted into the secret ninja society. Not clearly. <laughs> clearly Matt was Blake's mission. Sorry guys, there was a spider behind me. Oh. me. What were you talking about again? <laughs> yeah. Gotta, Nothing. Like, you know, Don't worry about spiders. it. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I just yeah. really like, what is the best age to start training to be a ninja? <laughs> oh the man. The day you're bored. <laughs> yeah, well, you're you wrong. say that, but... Ideally, very young. Around six or seven. But you can also start in your teen years and twenties. Oh man, hey, oh. we still got time. Yeah. It, yeah, like, I, I still like, you have, what, I still have barely years? I have yeah. barely enough to I still have about a bit over a year left. You I got can a do year this. over a year, yeah. yeah. You can do it, Yella. <laughs> start training now. Once you hit thirty, that's it. You cannot be a ninja anymore. <laughs> Once you hit thirty, you're going straight in the retirement home. Yeah. It's, you know, it's very it's very surreal because I've heard that answer before, but it was when I was asking Jared Fogel a question. Oh, uh, no. no. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Ninjas where? Can I be a ninja about when? Yeah. Well, yeah, Matt, really do you feel like a ninja yet? Yeah. Do you what, know what now you say, what Yoda? it takes to be a ninja, Matt? Hey? Yeah, I think, I think I'm ready. So, um... Yeah? I think I'm going to go ahead and test this out, okay? Mm. <laughs> Alrighty, here. Hey, Blake. Hello, Matt. Look behind you. How's it going, man? Oh. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> got rid of that guy. <laughs> he didn't even know I was now. in his house recording the whole time. <laughs> I was actually under his bed recording this video. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't want to learn to be a ninja at all. <laughs> Ooh, I'm the ghost already... of Blake. I'm the oh, ghost shit. of Blake what and the I... Uh... What the fuck? I... What? I mean, okay, it's wiki, Blake, wiki how no to banish a ghost. I just went out of my way to kill you when you came back as a fucking ghost. Ooh, what you're is a the terrible ninja, point? Matt. The only reason you killed me is because I was wearing noise canceling headphones. <laughs> he wasn't what aware of his surroundings. He of, failed of, of being a ninja himself. <laughs> what is even the point of killing people if they're just going to come back as ghosts? Because now I can't get rid of them at all. They're just I fucking mean, here now. Sounds to me like we need to find Wiki how to be an exorcist. Yeah. I was about to say, uh, join us next time for WikiHow, How to Be a Ghost Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked it up. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks for watching and supporting us, especially our Platinum D-Hole patrons, Dr. Faust, Hoshkoff, ODST795, Polly Hebert, and Stannis the Manus. We've got a big project coming next year, and we need listener voices for it. Check the description for a link to the casting call page for more details. You can also find our request form for suggesting material for us to check out, and our Patreon and PayPal links below if you're so inclined. Stay safe, y'all.